Hi, Nicole here. It's the weekend. Time to drink some wine. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to professionally open a wine and just the few simple tools that you need. Um, got two wines here from Portugal. If you haven't uh, hopped on the Portuguese trend, I highly suggest that you do. They are extremely affordable wines and traditionally all indigenous grapes from the region. So, without we're gonna get started here I'm gonna show you what you need um, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos I love the stemless uh, especially when the weekends around you can just chill and so I've got one for white and one for red um, if you don't have a polishing cloth you might want to get one and uh, especially if you live somewhere where it's hard water that's how you get the spots off your off your glasses and if you use a finer crystal stem uh, or glass you want to be very gentle when it comes to polishing because it will break easily and next thing my tried and true method for opening wine it's called a waiter's corkscrew blue is my favorite color and my friends at Pika Yoon winery up in uh, Napa actually gave me this and you can easily find them very inexpensive I'll in my comment section I'll, I'll put up a couple of links uh, some other ones out there the double winged corkscrew opener I don't even know how to use that I find it to be extremely challenging this is an all-in-one double hinge I'm going to show you what that means uh, the electric ones the rabbit there's no reason at all to spend a lot of money on a wine opener this is super simple under 10 bucks so we'll first start with a white this one's really hard to open really hard to open ta-da so if you don't know how to use one of these just always buy a screw cap kidding so very simple here obviously and so let's get to the double hinge corkscrew as they're called and what you want to do on your wine is uh, you're gonna see a lip at the top some wine bottles have two lips and um, basically where you want to cut is underneath the second lip from the top and why do you do that that's because that first lip is pretty close to the top of the bottle and uh, you could easily chip it and then it ruins your bottle because some glass may fly may, may fall down into the bottle and also this just gives a nicer presentation it's much more cleaner especially if you don't cut the foil so perfectly then you don't have foil sticking out over top so you've got your your the screw part open uh, where you want to enter is in the center of the cork and if you don't enter in the center of the cork you could easily break the cork and then you've got a whole bunch of drama to deal with um, so basically you want to put it all the way down to the bottom and here's the double hinge that I was talking about to, that makes it so much easier your first hinge clicks right on the bottle there pull it all the way up as far as you can go release and there's your second hinge that goes voila And you want to check to make sure your wine before serving isn't cork. This one's great to go. And if you're entertaining or uh, men, if you're on a hot date and you want to you want to um, impress your lady, when you're pouring wine to your guests, always hold the label towards that person. So imagine someone standing here and they're pouring me the wine. And why you see in restaurants they do that and is because that way. If the person didn't order the wine they can easily look at the label and see what's being offered to them so that's quick and easy how to open wine enjoy your weekend